sure we'll have some more people jumping on. So thank you so much for jumping on this evening. I'm super excited that you're here tonight. Um, I just wanted to say, um, I don't know about you guys, but I can feel some massive momentum right now. Like there's some real incredible energy in the team. And I just wanted to congratulate all of you guys for just getting involved, getting on the calls. Um, I think we've got Jeanette to thank for, for getting us all up in the morning and, you know, setting us up for the day. Like that's definitely been a game changer for me, guys. Um, and if you haven't been on those calls yet, like I can tell you, you're missing out. So the morning mindset calls are just an incredible, like just way to spend some time on your own setting yourself up to have a really good day um so yeah just wanted to give everybody a massive shout out for showing up being here and i know that a lot of you on this call actually everybody that's here at the moment you guys have been here through the thick and thin like we have been through some tough sticky mud guys and you're still here and i can promise you if you all stick together like amy said on a call the other night that inspired me so much she said you know she said, I didn't know how or when I was going to get there, but I knew if I just keep on doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it, I'll get there eventually. And I just thought, you know what, like so simple, but so true and effective. So thanks for that, Ames. Like, yeah, just a big shout out to Amy as well. Like she's had so much growth and just uh, it's just been so inspiring to listen to, especially like you've come back since the wedding with like literally like rocket boots on. So, yeah, just a massive shout out to you. Um, so guys, thanks so much for joining. I'd love to know what has been your win for the week. So pop it in the chat box. Um, let us know what your win has been um, over the course of the last week since last Wednesday. Um, give yourself a shout out. And also, if you'd like to give someone in your team a shout out, then please also do the same. Upline, downline, anyone, then, you know, let, let's celebrate together. So we've got a really good call for you tonight, guys. Um, it's going to be, like, obviously run by me and Amy and Jeanette, as always. And we've got some stories to tell. We've got some nuggets to share with you um so i'm actually going to bring on i don't know if amy or jeanette who wants to go first um i know that poor pascal has been stung by a nettle and he's crying and really not okay bless him Amy, do you want to come on <laughs> hello yeah pascal's been stung by a sting and it's pretty standard for him french bulldog anyway i've given him a tablet but it just takes a while to kick in and he's just crying and i just find if i just rub him it seems to help, but DJ should hopefully be home soon. So yeah, you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. But I just want to give you a shout out, Millie. Aww. I just want to say thank you to you, Millie, for always being there for us, always supporting us, always believing in us. And just for always, you know, being there for us through the difficult times as well. So just a massive shout out to you as well, Millie. Oh, thanks so much. That's really nice. I appreciate that. I really do. Well, isn't it? Like... We are so lucky to be in this business where we just, you know, love on each other, shout each other out and support each other as well. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I just believe, guys, that there is no end to success that you can have in this business. And, you know, I truly believe that every single one of you can be at any position that you want. NMD, PMD, SSC, QSSC. You just have to believe it yourself and then just decide and go for it. Um, you know, and that's what me and Amy did at the start. We just decided that we were going to be NMDs and that was it. And we just went for it. Um, and that's why we're here, because we want you guys to have that too. You know, whatever that dream life looks like, feels like for you, we want you to have that too. So, okay, Jeanette, do you want to come on first then? Um, so we're going to, we're just going to share some stories. So do you want to share a bit of your story, Jeanette, um, and then give your one tip um, at the end? Yeah, certainly, guys. So um, I didn't believe in all of this at the beginning. I didn't believe in any of this at the beginning. I argued with Amy for four months while she had the products in the house. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, while, we, while we had the products in the house and I argued with her and argued with her and said I ate enough, I ate sensibly and that wasn't a problem. But I still had issues with being super tired. I was a busy horsey mum. I was run down and I just was exhausted, running on empty all the time. And I saw Amy have some amazing energy and I wanted that. So I started stealing her shakes when she wasn't looking and um, got some great results pretty instantly with um, Cravens, um, all of that sort of thing. Um, and obviously I had to come clean with her and tell her. So I started to um, recommend these products back to Amy um, because people started to see an amazing difference. So what I say to everyone all the time is just get on the products, just start feeling amazing and people will notice and you will naturally recommend. And that's all this business is. So you can pr 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 
you can post on social media and you can um, in, uh, encourage people to come in that way or you can do what I did for the first six months which was all face to face in the supermarket wherever else I was um, but I was recommending it back to Amy and um, eventually she said mum come on you need to do the business and I didn't even have a smartphone I didn't do Facebook I wasn't technology minded how on earth was I going to ever do this business, which I thought was a young person's business? And no, it wasn't. So I got started um, and in the October, I believe, and in the January, I earned £200. And in the February, I earned £400. And in the March, I earned £800. Now, that was absolutely life-changing for me. It really, really was. I only joined this to get on the products. I mean, how amazing is that? And since 2016, I have been doing this full-time. That's what this business gives us. And I had no social media to begin with, no smartphone, um, no technology minded, couldn't write a post, all of those sort of things. So if I can do it, I can help anyone do it. And if you're talking to someone that sounds a bit like me, pop them in a three way chat with me. That really does make a massive difference. So with regard to um, uh personal development as you know I do a personal I do the mindset call every morning Millie has already said how important it is to get on that we need to tune into the right frequency have you ever thought of how a radio works with the frequencies have you ever thought how that works so you're in the car you're in the um in the kitchen or whatever and you tune in to the right frequency for the channel you want to listen into that that day whether it's upbeat whether it's downbeat whatever it is so we have the ability to do the same ourselves and tune into the right frequency that is so so important now we help ourselves do that by staying close to the fire so important to stay close to the fire what i don't understand with so many people is that we feed our bodies we build our muscles we have a weight loss journey we may have a weight gain journey we grow our hair and none of this happens overnight so why do we expect it to happen overnight with our personal development as well um, but we must stay close to the fire um, we must tune into the right frequency you must surround yourself with the right things um, and your self-talk. Always turn things into a, into a positive. There is always a positive in everything that we do. Everything that happens in our life, all the good things, all the bad things, I'm telling you, there is a positive. You just have to get the right mindset to tap into the right positive. It is so important to do that. So. If you're struggling at the moment, I'm going to be brief. If you're struggling at the moment and things aren't going the speed that you want them to, be honest with yourself. You don't have to tell anyone else. Be honest with yourself about how much action you are actually taking. Now, seeds, we are farmers. Seeds take time to grow. You can either grow cress seeds or you can grow oak trees. It's entirely up to you. But if you grow an oak tree today, set an acorn today, it is not going to be an oak tree until next year. So that's what we're doing. And again, that's got to be our mindset. Our mindset has got to be, do you want cress seeds or do you want oak trees? And we're farmers. So yes, I want oak trees. I want people that are going to be around for a long time. So I'm prepared to sow the seeds and for them to take longer to grow. But mindset is absolutely, absolutely paramount. So that was a bit longer than I thought, but I hope that <laughs> helps everyone. You're muted, Millie. I'm muted. <laughs> I was just saying that's amazing. I want to be an oak tree. I want an oak tree, not a but crest. We are. We are yeah. all oak trees. Hey. Oak not tree. crest. We're not crass. That's it. Some people do come in as little pits of crass and then they flounder away. That's all right. That's all yeah. right too. But yeah. you know, we want oak trees.
We want oak trees. That's it. I absolutely love that metaphor. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks for that, Jeanette. What an amazing story as well. Like, you know, you, you hear it a lot. It's at the beginning when you make those, you know, those first few hundred pounds. That is life changing for some people. And, it, you know, that is what you know, can really be the difference in this business to people being hooked in. Um, and it was the same for me, you know, there was months at the beginning of my business where, you know, I'd earn 200 quid and like, you know, that was just, it meant like I go out for dinner once a month with the girls and it was just incredible. So just got to think about that. Like what would that 200 pounds a month do for you guys? So I absolutely love that, Jeanette. Thanks for sharing. Um, so Ames, did you want to come on and share a bit about your story and your top tips? yeah mum that's amazing smashed it um so hi everyone my name's amy um <laughs> i've been with the juice plus company now for nine years i started when i was working full-time with horses um started the products for energy and um i was a happy customer the products massively changed my energy and I loved them so much, I just fell in love with the products. And so that's how I then was introduced to the business through being a customer. And I just wanted to earn an extra 200 pounds a month part-time um, around my crazy busy show jumping business, which I was running self-employed. I was competing up and down the country. I didn't think I would have time to, to do it, but you know, I really needed the extra income and I made it work. So I gave up. I remember I used to say this all the time. Like, I remember this the other day, Millie. I gave up Phil Mitchell for John Holowati. So I used to watch EastEnders religiously. But, you know, I turned off that TV, which is the biggest thing that can stop you from getting to your goals and your dream life. It's the biggest distraction. Why watch other people live their dreams or live their life when you can actually be creating your own life and your own dreams? especially when it's like fake and made up. Obviously I do like a good old movie. I'm not saying like never ever watch TV, but my decision was I wanted to change my life. So I made a sacrifice. So I gave up Phil Mitchell for John Holowati. So getting on the Zoom calls instead, getting super focused with my business in the evenings, you know, making sure I was doing my DMO, my income producing activities. And um, went to my first convention in Nice in 2013. And that was the biggest game changer for me. Before going to that event, like if any of you have not been to an event yet, then when you go to an event, it will pretty much change your mindset with this business. Because when I went to my first convention, my first Juice Plus event, I, before going there, I thought that Juice Plus was just an extra £200 a month, like hobby, part-time thing. That's all I thought it was. Um, but when I went to this convention, I saw the bigger picture I saw the vision I saw John Emma all on stage they're just um all gone PMD um the company had recently just brought out the bonuses and they'd recently just brought out um IMD EMD and PMD above NMD they just brought out those new positions and John and everyone was on stage popping champagne going crazy like and I was just in awe and I just soaked up all this energy. You know, I went there with my one team member as a sales coordinator and I was just like, oh my God, like, what is this? I had no idea. I joined a business where you could actually completely change your whole life. You could give up your full-time job. You could have a life of freedom. You could earn like a ridiculous amount of money a month and you could actually start to, you know, create your dream life. And I started to feel like, oh my God, all these things that felt out of reach before, I feel like they could be within reach within this business. And I was just like, wow, I was so inspired. Um, and I just thought if they can do it, I can do it. So um, really like I had a big mindset shift at that convention where I decided that I wanted this to be my plan A. So before going to that convention, my business was my plan B. Um, and I made the decision that I wanted this to be my plan A and I got serious with my business after that convention. Um, so about six, six months after that convention, six months of solid hard work, back to back 90 day game plans. Um, I went SC to QNMD in one month and then NMD the following month. So all of that momentum built up and it was absolutely crazy. And my life has never been the same since. And that's since then I've been able to um, live life on my terms and this business has just done so many incredible things for me and I feel like it's my duty to share this with people each and every single day and it's my duty to help you guys as much as possible and I like 
I'm in this place right now where like I've had my amazing wedding, my honeymoon, and that has all been thanks to Juice Plus that we've been able to do all of that. And I'm so, so grateful. But I'm at a place right now where I've got like bigger dreams, bigger vision than ever. And I want to show you all. I want to do it for you guys because I want to show you all like what's possible. And I want to inspire you to go for it as well and to take massive action and to believe in yourself and know that you can create your amazing dream life that you've always wanted. Like whatever that is for, for you, like, you know, whatever it is that you really want right now, what would what would be a massive life changing thing in your life right now? big or small like what would that be I want to help and inspire you and show you how to do that so a little bit about my story I think I'll do some tips on getting new team members so um I'm on a massive recruitment mission at the moment I want 13 new frontline minimum by the end of my 90 day game plan that I'm current currently doing and I'm gonna do it that's my minimum let's see if I can get some more and I'm just so excited to help some new team and I will hope that I can give you guys some great tips so um first things first is asking the question it's really important that you are setting yourself a number each day that you're going to actually reach out and ask the question to people and find out if they would be open to the business you know would they be open to taking a look at earning an extra income part-time you know, you don't, first things first, like you don't know if you don't ask, right? The worst thing is that um, they're going to say no, but I always find, so I think I love this. I have so many great conversations and the way I see it is I'm just sowing my seeds. I'm sowing my seeds. Like mum said there, I'm sowing my seeds. And also with your 90 day game plan, what you've got to think is what you're doing now, yes, it's going to get you results within the 90 days, but you shouldn't really expect big changes until 90 days from now. So I think when you go with that expectation, I know that what I'm doing now, I'm really going to see the massive results in 90 days time. You know, so I'm talking about August, September time. You know, but yes, I'm going to get results now. I'm already getting results on my 90 day game plan, but I'm really going to see the big changes in my business in, in three months from now or more, three to six months from now or more. So it's having that mindset, knowing that, you know, I'm in this. And like Millie said, like I said on the call the other night, like, I don't care. I don't know if I don't, you know, when I was an SC and I was really lacking in self-belief, confidence, I didn't know if I was going to get to NMD. I didn't know when, I didn't know how, I didn't even know if I would. But you know what, guys, I just went for it. And like Millie said, I just thought, well, I'm just going to keep going and keep going and keep going. So I think it's just having that determination, that focus and that mindset. So asking the questions is really important. Just reaching out to people, guys. Don't be frightened just to go through your friends list. Choose, you know, five people a day, 10 people a day. Reach out to people, like be bold, be brave, be proud of what we have to offer. Um, people need this right now. People need, you know, the extra income. You just don't know how you're going to change someone's life with earning that little bit of extra money. And, you know, with the cost of living going up, a bit of extra petrol in their car, you know, just know that you've got something so great to offer. And what I find is, um, you know, I am get so my minimum I'm sending a day is 30 at the moment. So 30 business messages a day minimum. Um, that's my personal number. You can choose your number, like there's no right or wrong. Um, but what I'm finding is I'm getting a lot of yeses because I'm taking more action. I'm sending out more messages. But, you know, obviously, of course, I get people say like, no, it's not for me. No, I don't have time. Like, no, I, you know, the, the, the objections. And I've actually started writing down like a bit of a note of the objections I'm getting. But I just talk to people like I'd be a human being like. So, um, you know, so if someone says to me, like, no, like it, I don't have time or whatever, then I would just say, like, no worries at all. Like, firstly, thank you so much for getting back to me. Um, you know can I ask why may I ask why you feel that you wouldn't have time like what is it that you do for work and again it's just starting up that conversation so really like no matter how they respond you know see pretty much all of mine are pretty are polite um then I would just have that conversation and find out about them may I ask why you feel um you don't have time like what is it that you do for work I'll try and like look on their profile and try and see like how I can ask a question about them because I don't want it you know, I don't want to be the person that, you know, reaches out, they say no, and then I just don't talk to them. Like, I want to continue the conversation a little bit. Um, and, you know, and then I will say to them, well, have you ever thought about using the products? 
and that's working really well and you're just you're, you're just chatting um and that works really well but obviously then you are you do obviously get people that say yes like i need some extra money right now like oh yes i've been watching your posts so then that's where you need to make sure that you've got um your system in place of what you're going to send to people so send them like a little bit of information um send them a video and then what I do, so as soon as like they've said yes, they're open to information, I write them down. So I make a note of their name on my business list. So I'm always adding to my business list. And then every Monday is the opportunity call with John. So over the weekend and on a Monday, I go back to my business list and I'll follow up and I'll invite them onto the Monday call with John. Um, so I am on day 16 of my 90 day game plan now. So just over two weeks of being super, super consistent with this. Um, first week I had no one on the call on the Monday. Um, the second time I had two people that were meant to get on. One of them didn't get on. The other one did. She listened to the call. I'm in the process of still talking to her at the moment. Um, and I, I'll probably invite her if she doesn't join between now and Monday. I will invite her on again on Monday until she's like made a decision. But she did pretty much say today that she does want to do it. She's just waiting for her partner to get paid. So, and I'm just gonna keep repeating this process guys, cause I know it works. So, you know, it's, there's no secret. You've got to speak to people. Um, so really just my last tip for that is making sure that your profile matches your messages. So I've been making sure that I've been trying to post a lot more about the business, thinking about the business as another product. Um, and that's been working really well. So making sure that I'm, showing like you know i do like a mixture of like direct stuff with polls i'll do um like today i just said that i was at the net the nail salon having my nails done and i just said that i was really really grateful because when i first started this business on my vision board it was one of the things i wanted was to be able to have monthly nail appointments and monthly facials and just how it just feels like such a luxury and how grateful i am for that so just like those little things like that guys but i get a lot like I got that inspiration from somebody else in Juice Plus. Like I didn't just come up with that myself. So I get a lot. So if you ever struggle with posts, because I've struggled a lot with posts, search. I search Facebook. So like, for example, I'll search Facebook for like dream car. And I, it helped me with my post today when I did a post about um, my car and the business. And there was some great posts that Harry um, Aldridge has done about a car and having a dream car. So I kind of like used a bit of that, put my own personal spin on it a little bit. Um, and so that really, really helps me with inspiration for posts. So um, yeah, so the other thing that I do is, so if you search on Facebook, if you, you can literally like search a keyword, so you could search like recruiting or like say dream car, or it could maybe you want like a product post, like Amigas. Like if you put in like Amigas, you can search, um, select posts and then there'll be the little in the top right hand corner there'll be like a little this thing here the little um don't know what you call that um how can i describe that Lo lollipops on the side this thing here yeah lollipops on the side like a little setting thing so if you click on that yeah and then you can go posts from and then I'll search like, for example, Harriet Aldridge, because I do find her posts really good. I find that I don't feel like I'm very good at wording things, but I think I feel that she is. So I'll search Amiga's posts by Harriet Aldridge, for example, and then show results and then they can come up and you can scroll down and there's loads. This is just like an example, guys. So there's never really an excuse as to why you can't get a post up. Um, just get that inspiration. I find that I find for me that really helps me. If anyone's got any other posts, um, any other tips for posts, that really helps me. Um, so just get inspiration for other people in the business who are being successful. Like look at the leaderboard that the company posts up every month of who's on the customer leaderboard, who's on the new uh, team member leaderboard. Like look at what they're posting, guys, and that will really help you. Um, but obviously personalize it as much as you can, like try and use your own photos if you can um, and personalize it to you. So that really, really helps. And you can do the same with stories, like screenshot other people's um, stories from the business and then like save them and then like reuse them like weeks or a few months later, you know? So 
no reason why you can't do that. Like I do that and that really, really helps me and that gives me inspiration. So, you know, you really want to make sure that your profile and your post is matching your messages because if you're reaching out to people and asking the question about the business, but then, you know, they're going to come check out your page. So are they knowing that, you know, they're going to come and scroll down your post a little bit, what's your story? What are you showing on there? So I think that's really, really important. I, I think that's why... Um, that really will, that will help you get better results with your business messages basically and then um, yeah I think that that's pretty much it oh that is an amazing tip that I've never heard before so thanks so much for sharing that I love that you can search anybody and anything like search a word then find people that have posted about that the other thing is well nothing. meals it's like you can actually search someone's profile so like you could go to like um Harriet Aldridge, for example, you could go to her profile. Let's just quickly do it now, unless it's changed. Or like Danny or, you know, whoever. And you don't have to be friends with them, do you? No. So you can go to their profile. Uh, so go to their profile. And then if you look at the top, there's a little magnifying glass. Oh. See that here? So you could search recruiting. Oh no, it's not. Okay. I go to the three, three, three little dots, I, isn't there? Three little dots. Yeah. Three little dots now. Uh, yeah, I just did that and it didn't work. All oh, right, the three little dots next to add friend or message. And then there's three little dots. Oh, then there's the search there, yeah. Yeah, then you go in the search. That's thing. it. Yeah, I was going to say, because what is your old mum that don't know nothing about technology is still showing <laughs> you young girls how to do it. Yeah, <laughs> you taught me something the other day about my phone, didn't you? She taught me how to um, do the, the, the double tap on the back to do a screenshot. I was like, oh, the hell. What? So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, there you go. That's amazing. And you can just get loads of inspiration. There, there's posts there from years ago. And just use it to inspire you. And um, just quickly, Millie, before I hand back to you, like I'll just like look through my page, you know, um, daily, and I'll think, right, have I got a mixture of everything? So have I done a, you know, oh, I've made, you know, so like today I've done like a kind of um, indirect business post on my Facebook wall. Um, underneath that, I've done the amazing post that Millie did about the college in. So that was incredible, Millie. I love that post. I love how you explain it so well. And then I've got one about the free shaker. So I feel like maybe next I need like a, so like my post tomorrow morning, I feel like it needs to be like a non-juice plus post, like motivational quote, add and value, or like an interactive post. Um, so that's kind of how I do it. And I do that with my stories as well. I always try and like watch it back daily. And I try and think, am I getting a balance of everything? You know, am I showing me? Have I got some product? Because you don't want to be a juice plus robot, guys. You know, and you want to show you, you want to show your life. And I just think like, um, I think that's really important. So I'm really trying to work on my posts at the moment because I have struggled in the past and I feel that this is, I kind of feel like that's really helping me. So, wow, that was amazing training, Amy. Thank you so much. Um, I'm super inspired and yeah, it just, I think a really good thing to do, like you say, like is to really be honest about, are you actually trying to entice people to what you've got with what you're posting and actually like you say touching on business products different product stories testimonials like there's always something to post about and, and like you say if you're stuck for something then that's a really good way to um, obviously go and get inspired I'm going to touch a little bit in a minute about how to get customers and a tip, tip some tips on that um, but I just think that is and for me as well, like I, I tend to have a quite a good system, I think, with what I post. But, you know, I think we can always level ourselves up and take our business more seriously. You know, would Nike go a day without posting about their products? Absolutely not. Like you've got to think about how seriously you're taking this business. Are you just whacking a post on your stories and hoping for the best? Or are you actually being thoughtful, thinking about if it appeals to your tribe and your journey as well? So absolutely love that, Amy. Thank you for sharing. So guys, um, as you know, my name is Millie and uh, I'm going to share my story a little bit of it with you. And there's so many different angles um, and I just thought that I would, yeah, I'm just going to like talk from my heart today. Like I haven't really planned anything. So I'm literally just going to share with you. Let me spotlight myself. Um, 
just share with you just my journey. So, so back in 2012, I was out of university. I'd studied nutrition. I was broke. I was working three jobs. I was a children's play center, a cafe manager and party host. I used to dress up as a monkey, um, Marvin the monkey in monkey business. Um, I also delivered pizzas and I worked in a sports shop. And I did some babysitting. So effectively, I had like four jobs and not, not much time. And I was still broke. Um, you know, it was a struggle to put petrol in the car. I couldn't go out for dinner with my friends. You know, we'd want to go out clubbing as you did back then, like when I was in my 20s. And I just couldn't really afford it. The taxis home, the alcohol, like all those things that you do when you're that age. And I just used to drive the same road every day from my house to work. And it was like one straight road and it was backwards and forwards, 14 hour days. And I always just thought to myself, God, is this it? Is this it? Um, so I then just was sitting on my bed one day after I delivered some pizzas to Domino's. I think I was actually just off to a shift. And uh, one of my friends liked a post on Facebook and I clicked on it. It was called Skinny Rules. And I was like, what is this? Obviously, I've been involved in health for a long time and it appealed to me, the word skinny. Um, as girls, you know, back then it was, you know, when I was really young, we wanted to be skinny. That was it. It was very different back then. So I clicked on this page and up popped this girl looking super fit, super beautiful with this long blonde hair, sitting on a Swiss ball. Um, and I just thought, wow, who's this and I started to follow this girl and that was the day that changed my life and I saw that she was posting about these capsules and the post said my hair uh, my skin's never been better my energy's never been better I love these little capsules and there was the fruit vegetables and berry capsules and at the time guys I was struggling with a really bad case of adult acne um, and I tried everything and I'm talking like I was extreme I put nail varnish remover on my face I tried all those terrible things because the doctors couldn't help me. The last resort treatment for acne called Roaccutane, which is a six month horrific, um, you basically dries you from the inside out. Um, my nose bled every day, my, my uh, fingers cracked, my lips, lips cracked every day. That did not work. And I was at my wits end. I was over my overdraft. Um, I didn't even know that was possible, but I was being charged to be over my overdraft daily. But I saw this product, I saw this girl, I, she was glowing and I thought I want some of that. So I ordered this product and obviously no medical claims been made here. That's the only thing I changed. And I've always been somebody that's looked after my health. I've eaten well. And I started to ping out of bed. I'd struggled with anemia for years and all this energy and my skin started to just relax and feel better. Um, and because I was getting such good results, people were noticing at the gym that I was up really early, training, working out, I was more confident. Confident. I was wearing less makeup um, and my face was just like I was I just didn't get all those horrible lumps anymore and uh, people were asking me you know what was going on and I just said oh, I'm taking these little capsules and I kept passing them to Katie and she said to me Millie just come up to Manchester come up to an event and come and see how you can earn a bit of extra money uh, by you know by doing this nutrition business and I was just like oh my God, yes, sign me up. I thought I was moving to Manchester. That was it. I told my mom, I'm getting in my car. I'm going up here. I don't know if I'm coming back, but I'm excited. I felt great. I was like, I, I want this. I, I was desperate for more. So I went up to this event, drove five and a half hours. And um, in that event, there was an NMD. And he stood at the front of the room with his wife. And he said, we make $10,000 a week from these little capsules and in that moment I had my light bulb my light bulb went off and I was like if these guys can do it and they were in their like probably 60s then these guys can do it I can bloody well do this I love this product I feel incredible I felt untouchable guys I had all this energy I was excited I love this product it was just it made sense to me so I came home didn't know what I'd signed myself up to and that was it that was it I was in for it I was going for it I wanted to be an NMD I didn't know what it was I didn't know how it was but I just wanted to be an NMD and so I came home started posting on social media, just found other people who I didn't know that was in the business. I connected with them, sent them messages. What's an SC? What does PB mean? And I just asked questions and I taught myself everything that I needed to know. I got the manual out. We got this awful ring binder manual that had all the percentages in. And me and one of my team members just sat there reading it like we haven't got a clue what this means. But it didn't matter because you didn't need to know because we were just excited. So we put on some events 
we shared the product, we got lots of no's, we got a bit of hate, we got quite a bit of negativity, but you know what? We were so excited because we knew how this made us feel and people wanted it. We just, you know, we, we had to get through the sludgy mud. We had to, you know, put our, uh, our, our suit of armor on and get through that negativity. And I can tell you guys, it was the best thing that I ever did. My own brother actually decided to block me off Facebook for nine months because he thought that I was an embarrassment. Got on the product, lost three and a half stone, then got in the business and became an SSC. So never, ever, ever like give up because somebody's telling you that this business isn't for real and it doesn't work because I can promise you that if you dig your heels in, keep your eyes on the prize, where you want to go, you know, put your blinkers on. Don't let all the people come and tell you the hairdressers, oh, that doesn't work or the painters or the postmen. Keep your blinkers on. Surround yourself with us guys that have been there, that have done it, that are winning. Come with us. And I promise you that you can win too. So for me, I went uh, NMD in 13 months. Still to this day, don't really know how I did it. I just was excited. I love the product. I found one person every single day that I could share this with. And I thought if I could do that consistently and help them feel as good as I do, I felt like I could change the world. I felt like I could have an impact. And over the years, it's been 10 years now, um, I really do feel so blessed to have you know met so many people um, and had the opportunity to help change so many people lives and that is the gift of this product guys it's not necessarily about who you meet it's about their people and their friends and their children and their friends of friends that this can reach out to through the confidence of you guys and I can honestly say that I had zero confidence when I started this business but the excitement took over of what was possible of becoming a more confident person and earning some great money to live my dream life um so I went NMD then I went IMD and then in the July of that year I went in EMD and my life like Amy's has just never been the same um, one of my best moments was me and Amy went to a wedding in Florida and we decided to stay for an extra week just had an absolute ball um, one of the things that I've done over the years is extend most of my holidays just because I'm a, my own boss um, and the, the best one was obviously you guys know I went to Bali for two weeks and stayed for eight months and worked on the beach and had an absolute like just the best time of my life. I met amazing people, some who are in my business now, lots of them are on the products. And, you know, this business has given me the opportunity to have time freedom, money freedom, friendships, fun, excitement, and time to be able to design my day. You know, and I am no one special. I just make a special effort. And just like Amy said, it's for you guys. You know, we want to show you with so much passion what is truly possible. We are just two very normal normal girls you've heard Amy's story you know she's a very hard worker and that's it you've got to show up for yourself and be responsible you know and that's exactly what I did I didn't wait I didn't meet Katie for like nine months eight months I think before we actually met in real life and I was just left on my own I wasn't taught I didn't get coaching I didn't get blueprints I was on my own just like we were at the beginning and you guys have literally got everything that you possibly need to win in this business so don't take it for granted and go and soak it all up. Teach yourself, use the groups, you know, speak to people and just believe in yourself because you don't know, like, imagine if Katie hadn't spoken to me that day, where would I be now? What job would I be doing? I would not have had the life that I've had. I can tell you that. So just remember that you've got a gift and you're a messenger. You're not a seller. You're a storyteller. And, you know, when you have a vision for how you want to be, and the person that you want to become, that is when you can truly change your life. It's all something that I read today, actually, and I'm going to read, read it to you at the end of this call. It's about actually having a vision for yourself rather than just for your life and what you want in your life. And it's really, really powerful. So, um, guys, we all know that getting customers can be challenging if we are stuck. So, you know, I don't ever really feel like there's been a time in this business where I've been stuck for getting customers. And the biggest tip for that is two things. I believe that people want what I've got with absolutely no doubt. There are people out there that are waiting for me. People want what we've got and you've got to tell yourself that every single day. So you've got to have the energy that this product is wanted by everybody, okay? Because if you think, oh, it's too expensive, People don't want it. I'm embarrassed. I don't want to talk about it. That's the energy that you're putting out there. And just like Jeanette said, you are a frequency and you will attract everything that you're thinking. So get, get yourselves 
on a 10 out of 10 belief in this product and a 10 out of 10 belief in yourself because that is what truly matters, okay? You could have people on your Facebook not coming to you because of how you feel about the product, okay? You've got to love the product, believe that it's of an incredible value. Like if you know this product costs like two pounds 10 a day for the fruit, vegetables and berries, can you imagine 30 pieces of fruits and vegetables that are of the best quality sat in front of you, okay? How much would that cost? Who knows? We actually um, did an event a few years ago with Maria and we bought all of the produce and it was over 27 pounds, um, for all of the fruit and vegetables that go into the capsules. And that was just one portion of each, right? So then you've got to think about the process that this goes through, the science, the encapsulation, the beautiful proprietary drying process. All of that is included in this price for these incredible little beautiful little capsules right so when you educate yourself on the product and you realize just the incredible value that you get with this and then you get the fruit and vegetable ones for free for a child it's mind-blowing it's totally and utterly mind-blowing so you've got your gonna get yourself in the right mindset okay so of course I'm gonna say it and you hear it probably every single day the most important thing for getting customers is being a product of the product you have got to get on a health journey guys so I want to ask you now in six months from now if you had improved your health what would it be would it be you wanted to drop half a stone? Did you want to go to the gym and do body pump because it's not something you've done? Do you want to gain a stone? Do you want to gain some muscle? Do you want to have better skin? Do you want to learn how to eat clean? What? How do you want to improve your health? Okay, really have a think about that and create a story. Okay, and then what you've got to do, guys, is take your products every single day. And I've got a challenge for you in a second. Every single day, document yourself taking your products you don't have to stand there and take your capsules one by one. Find ways of showing people that you're having different products every day. Have your capsules with your shakes or you can have porridge like Amy has every day. You can have pancakes like me and Stefan have. Like find ways of being creative. Make it look different. Have fun. Have a shake after the gym. But document your products every single day, guys. It's so important. You never, ever, ever know who is going to be watching you. And I promise document your journey, track your own progress, whether it's like, you know, again, Amy said the other night on the call, she measured her hair. And then by the time she went for her next hair appointment, she measured it again. Like, I thought that was an incredible thing to do. I've never actually done that. And when I go for my next haircut, I am 100% going to do that because my hair grows uncontrollably since I've been taking this product. Um, so really think about what you can document on a daily basis. Okay. And so I've got a challenge for you. Okay. Every single day, near enough, my Juice Plus Instagram post gets shared by the Juice Plus company because I tag Juice Plus every single day. And I've noticed that some of you guys do as well, but why don't we, and this is the challenge, I want you to share your products every single day. Let's try and get all of us on the Juice Plus UK um, Instagram page because they will share people who tag. Some days they have two or three posts and I want you to tag your team name. So hashtag Diamond Dreamers, hashtag Feel Good Club, whoever you're a part of, Mission Girls, and get yourselves known on the Juice Plus um, Instagram page because guess what? People are going to be watching that. And imagine then if they come and come to you. So get yourselves out there. It's going to be so good to see you guys every single day, hashtagging um, Juice Plus UK on Instagram because they will share your posts and it looks good for the company, right? The more people that see people using Juice Plus, the better. It's obviously going to do great things for your business. And obviously you can then reshare the posts that you've been shared on the company page. How cool is that? So really have a think about guys, like what product journey that you want to be on. And I know like you hear it every single day but get on the products guys and the more products that you decide to get on so reinvest back into your business when you get your commission that's something that when I first started like I said I couldn't afford the capsules but I was so desperate um and I really 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 wanted the chewables like I was so desperate to have the chewables so with my first paycheck I actually got the chewables um and it was the best thing ever because I was so broke it was just brilliant my mum bought the shakes of me she was my first ever customer um, and I shared the shakes with 
compare. So really have a think about like, who can you ask to support you? You know, who can you go on a health journey with and invite them onto that health journey with you and say to people, you know, you don't have to directly ask people, do you want to come on a health journey with me? Ask them, who do you know that's looking to have more energy, to lose their baby weight, to gain more muscle in the gym? I've got something they might be interested in. Can you pop me in a chat with them? Like, it's just a really good way to engage with people and their friends if they don't necessarily want it. But guess what? When you say, who do you know who? People say, well, actually, I do. I, I want to know about this. Tell me more about this challenge that you've got going on. Okay, Amy said, I had a customer order the shakes the night before they launched the free shaker. So I've bought her a JP shaker from JP shop and sent it to her. I have asked her for referrals, good customer care. That is a beautiful thing to do, Amy, I love that. Um, so just again, like reinvesting back to your customers and they will feel so special. Um, another thing that I do as well is when I get new customers, when I have uplift, I will always send them a thank you card and an uplift, okay? And they, it's a really good way to showcase a new product and also to, you know, just to give them that extra customer service. Um, so yeah, Elizabeth said, my last customer, customer was a friend of a friend. That's incredible. Um, so yeah, um, start taking uplift again in the morning. Honestly, I miss up. I've got a few. Claire Tully gave me some the other day, um, but I am honestly devastated. I've run out. The life is not the same without the uplift. So really, guys, really think about what it is that you want to improve on your health journey and then document that every single day. You've got to be a product of the product, start documenting. So be a product of the product, start documenting. Um, and then obviously, you know, invite people onto that challenge with you. And even if they don't say yes straight away, follow up with them, ask them what their top three health goals are. And then you can say, I might have something that you're interested in. That's what I do. And uh, you just never, ever know. Even what you do now, people will show up later down the line. As some of you saw in the chat earlier, I messaged a girl on, like, I think it's the 3rd or the 10th of February, and she messaged me back on Monday. She wants to join the team. So you just never, ever know. Like, that's four months she's waited. I sent her the message because I saw her struggling on social media. I'm broke. I'm tired. I'm a mum of two. I'm single. I've got a full-time job. I'm exhausted. Somebody help me. And I sent her a message because she's into the gym. She said, I don't have the energy to go to the gym. What can I do at home? I sent her a little message and she messaged me the other night and I sent her mine and Amy's um, fitness call. And she was like, I'm excited. I want to join. So, you know, you just never, ever, ever know. People are watching. So um, let's have a look and see what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Literally people wait like weeks or months. So, Amy, did you want to just add anything? I know we've almost been on an hour, but there's something I just want to share that I think is amazing. It's a little bit long, but I think you guys will get some really good value from it. So um, is there anything you want to come on and say? Just that I think um, we'll, we'll round up there. We'll leave it there. But I think it's been an amazing call. Let us know, guys, your feedback of the call. If you like more stuff like this. And yeah, Mills, I'll hand back to you. But guys, let's have an amazing June. June is already on fire. So let's do this. Yes, don't give it away, guys. Put your cameras on as well, because let's get a photo that we can share as well. Um, yeah, just thank you so much, Jeanette. Thank you, Amy. What an amazing call it's been. So I'm going to read this to you guys. So if someone wants to take a photo, that would be amazing. Jess has got Biscuit with her, her little kitten. Biscuit's grown a lot. How cute. Right, I'm going to get a quick photo, actually, because everyone's there. Kaylee, baby, coming on. Let's see your face. And Kelly. Right, three, two, one, guys. Amazing. Cool. Right. This is just what I want to end this call with. I, I read it earlier and I thought it was amazing. So just bear with me. So if you're struggling to create the dream of your life, listen to this. You can likely tell me about your ideal life and what you have, where you are, what you're doing and who with, what your dream life looks like. But could you tell me about your ideal self? Because that's really the key to living that life. Your way of being is the cause. The life you live is the effect. One of the worst ways to create your ideal life is by focusing on creating your ideal life because you are, your life is always predicted on who you are. Building that life without actively living as your ideal self is like trying to build a mansion without a foundation. If you truly want your ideal life to become your real life, you need to become an abundantly clear on the, vi on the version of you that would create that life as a natural consequence of how you'd live. Become intimately familiar with how this version of you thinks, feels, and acts. To become clearer about who your ideal self is, begin to ask yourself question, uh, these questions. What do you focus on most of the time and why? What is your daily mood and energy like? 
What do you regularly, regularly say yes to? What do you regularly say no to? Paint a vivid picture of yourself. To become clear about how you live as your ideal self, begin asking yourself the same questions about who you currently are. So also add things like, what aspects of your thoughts, feelings, and actions don't align with, align with your ideal self? What aspects do? And replace what doesn't resonate and amplify what does. If becoming your ideal self and living your ideal life was easy, everyone would do it. It takes asking yourself difficult questions and looking at yourself hard in the mirror. What pain will you choose knowing that you're not knowing you're not realizing your potential or working to live up to it? Becoming your ideal self won't happen overnight. It'll take time. It'll take trial and error and failure. And your idea of who that version of you uh, will continue to evolve as you do. Don't think this is something that you can complete. It's not. You aren't becoming you aren't a human being. You're a human becoming in your day to day. I want you to ask yourself. Is what I'm doing right now bringing me into closer alignment with my ideal self? The key to living your ideal life is making sure the answer to this question is yes more often than no. So basically, guys, what this is saying is who are you today? Who are you? What is the version of you today? And what do you need to do to become the version of yourself that will be that NMD person. So a task for you to do, guys, is write down all of your habits that you've got now. What things do you do on a daily basis? Do you spend your time watching Phil Mitchell? Do you spend your time going to the shop and buying cans of Coke and eating Domino's three days a week? Is that going to get you to where you want to be, that dream physique or, you know, the energy that you want? Write down the qualities of the position that you want to be. What does the NMD version of you show up like? Who is that person? What do they think? What do they feel? like what do they do what food do they consume what thoughts do they have do they get on the morning call or do they lay in bed until eight o'clock and then get up and have some sugary cereal or do they wake up at six do some meditation get on Jeanette's call have some water have their capsules and start their day with an absolute bang so really think about like how you're showing up and you know what you do in the dark is going to put you in the light guys you know what you do behind closed doors when we come off here that is what truly counts so really have a think about what your ideal self you know the best most confident version of you what you need to do to get there you know because you all can but it takes uncomfortable practice sometimes going live and sharing things and you know sacrificing things like Phil Mitchell to get to where you want to be um so yeah just just wanted to share that with you I thought it was really thought provoking um just a really nice way to end the call so let's do this guys you know we're in the second uh, week now of june let's have the absolute best month and don't forget john is putting an event on at the end of the month for sps and above um it's going to be in berry so it's a bit of a mission for a lot of us but we all know that it's going to be a really great event so have an amazing night guys let's smash this congratulations to all of you for being here this evening um thanks Jeanette. thanks amy and thanks for everybody interacting in the chat as well so see you all soon guys love you loads have a good night and take care